The Cry of the Green-Eyed Monsters. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Nico tries to convince himself of his greatness. And it's kind of strange. At the same time, he's always knocking himself. I know I'm not a nice guy. I know I can be a prick. Well, that I guess that just says it all. You're not a nice guy and that you are a prick. <laughs> Set it yourself, your own mouth. The Green-Eyed Monster. The Revenge of the Green-Eyed Monster. The fact is, I do have everything that Nico doesn't have. You think he's getting laid when he comes to Cebu? <laughs> Fuck that theory. <laughs> he's not getting laid. It's all smoke and mirrors. Just like Ricky and others, it's all smoke and mirrors. You're gonna do this, you're gonna do that, you ain't gonna do shit. You're not gonna do shit. And I wish you'd, I wish you'd try. You may get to stay in the Philippines a little bit longer than your planned visit, my boy. I'll tell you right now. It's fun listening to these two jokes. Okay, look at, look at the two characters. We got Popeye. He hasn't been laid for like, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't even know when his wife laid him, really, before she divorced the motherfucker, right? Goes a bingo. Casey goes to uh, the casino. He just sits around the house. Talk about somebody sitting around the house making hateful videos. Now, if I was just somebody that, uh, a lay person who didn't even know who these characters were, and I just kind of sat there listening to this shit, right? I say, who the fuck are they jealous of? It doesn't sound like they're living much of a life when they spend all their time doing little skits and stuff about somebody. I mean, how much time you have in a day? You've got some chores to do, this and that, but they seem to spend a lot of time on, uh, showing their feelings. Feelings. Whoa, oh, oh, feelings. Oh, it is a joke, you're right. It is a joke. They're both jokes. They're both jokes. The fact is, I do got a good relationship. That's killing both of them, really. I think it bothers Nico more than it bothers Popeye. You know why Nico's mad at me? You know what? Because I told the truth about him. Yeah. Because he, you know, he likes to mouth shit off, but he doesn't like to hear anything, any recourse from anybody else. So Nico gets really, really defensive. You think? <laughs> shit. You would think I stole his girlfriend or something and he's jealous or something, man. He talks about age, you're going to be on a slab. I don't know, dude. Look how obese you are. You'll be on a slab well before I'll be on a slab, whether I smoke or whether... Whatever. You drink. You destroy your body from all the years of drugs you were on. You got blown up, which is not a funny thing. Although... If it was the other way around, you would be making fun of that with me, and I, I could take the stage on that if I really want. I could do that right now. It's not worth it. So, yeah, it's entertainment for me to listen to this shit. It's entertainment just to listen. And uh, it's guys like this that make me popular. Don't have to do much. He still comes to my show to listen to it, doesn't he? So does Popeye. You know, first they, going back in history, they had Peter Van Dever to entertain them and occupy their hate. And now Peter Van Dever is gone. Johnny, Johnny Warrior is gone. They, they gave up on him a long time ago. He died. You know, uh, Fazio is not here to, for them to attack. Okay, so who's still around? Well, Frank's still around. Okay, let's jump on his ass. Why? Because they could. And because they want to pull my chain. But they they don't really understand the situation at all. I'm getting a lot of entertainment just listening to these guys. I know what my true life is all about because I'm living it. They can see anything they want about me. I can say anything I want about somebody else. It might necessarily not be true. But I, I do have the power to speak my mind and I can make up shit all day and night long. But Green Eyed Monsters, Nico is jealous that he's just not in a position to live in the Philippines. He's got too many uh, loose ends and uh, 
calling her a concubine. You see, what he's trying to do is get my goat. I'm just doing my usual thing, speaking my mind, that's all. I, it, it's just all a laugh for me. I've heard this for eight fucking years. <laughs> he's trying to tell me, or his viewers, what my relationship is really like. Oh, really? You've lived here? You've lived with us? You've seen our interaction? Really? On a daily basis, too. How do you figure that? Are you, uh, you got one of these, uh, are you clairvoyant? Are you, uh, I don't know, do you have these uh, unusual powers that you could see into my life? Dude, even with a kidney stone operation, <laughs> which is really nothing. <laughs> I'm a lot of, and, you, and you don't smoke, but you drink. There's always a trade-off, dude, you know. And actually, drinking is a lot worse than smoking. Drinking will get you a lot quicker than smoking. I look at it this way, man. I'm 70 years old now. Uh, and other than a kidney stone situation, I'm in, I'm in pretty damn good health. Okay, I don't got any uh, high cholesterol levels to worry about. I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes. But you may want to check yourself again. And you just might have some stones. Although you think you have stones in another way. You're just a fucking pussy is all you are. You're a guy that can't even get laid when he comes to the Philippines. He hangs around with this one chick as a companion so he's not lonely in his cheap backpacker's hotel that he stays in. Well, don't forget, he's had a little bit of help from somebody financially to make this trip, the last trip. Let's not forget that. So he could spend more money on booze and money on renting a bicycle and paying for the time of having some companionship so he doesn't get lonely and uh, just to have somebody around him and the thing is the guy's not even getting laid you know why pay for something if you're not even getting fucking laid I mean shit that that that's that really sucks at least get something out of it that's what I would say fuck man I'm not gonna put out no money like that in a situation like his a single guy and not even getting fucking laid. I don't even know if he could, really. Uh, he's obese, that Bobby, and he's drinking, probably creates a problem. I would think it would, actually. I'm no doctor, but uh, I think I'm wise for my time. Green Eyed Monster. The Green Eyed Monster. If I was creative, I'd do a little skit myself with a green eyed monster. A monster, Nico. You are so fucking jealous. Yeah, why don't you call my girlfriend, which you did, in front of her face. I'd love you to see... I'd love you to do that. I would love you to do that. Say some of the shit you said about her children. Say all the shit. Say it in front of her face. You'd be awfully surprised what her reaction would be. She'd have you behind fucking bars with fucking Barry J. No doubt. And I can't speak for her family, what they do to you. I have no control of that. Okay, I do have some control of some things that you're just not aware of. Unleash the hounds, my friend. Unleash the hounds. Let me unleash the hounds. Push me to, to release the hounds. The hounds of your fucking hell. But you know what? You're living a life of hell. That's what I concluded with you. You're always defending yourself like you're guilty of something, because probably you are. You've already openly said that you're a prick. You openly said that you're not a nice guy. Done deal. You said it all. So who the fuck is going to listen to you and believe everything you fucking say? You're obese. You got fucking blown up. Take a hint. Take a hint. Live your life in peace. Attend to your own business and your little and your mommy. Attend to your mommy. And he's still going on about this shit that my parents are doing. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so what about it? But my mommy's a lot. How old are you, man? You're fucking 50 years old, dude, with the fucking braided hair, the tattoos, the gutter fucking street attitude. Grow fucking up, man. Grow up. Up. You're 50 years old, dude. You're not a young chicken yourself. Lose that fucking weight. Get a better fucking attitude. And maybe, maybe, someday, someday my princess will come. 
Maybe you'll actually find a real woman that wants to be around you, not because you're going to pay for her time to go on a motorcycle. Hey, come with me here. Come with me here. Come with me here. Yeah, you got a lot of Filipinos that'll hop on board that little motorcycle. You know? Yeah, I'll go with you. Yeah, let's go to this town. It sounds like fun. Shit. The greatest put on ever. And he bought into that shit. Okay? He even tried to interfere with his friend or companion, Maria, trying to get her not to like Gilda. But the one good thing about Maria that I've ascertained is that she's her own free thinker. Let's cheer her on for that. She don't agree with all the shit that Nico's putting out, I guarantee you. I've heard it. I've heard it. She don't agree with the mean spirit he is. She hung around with him because it was a free ride. Just a free ride. That's all it was. A free ride. He doesn't like the fact that I am established, that I am settled in. I don't care who gets the fucking house. What, I didn't know? I didn't know? That the house is gonna be hers? Come on, give me a little more credit than that. Something wrong with you, boy. Hey, man, I'm happy with the status quo. I don't understand why you get so uptight when it comes to me. Are you, like, in love with me or something? Are you jealous? Or what's the story? Maybe you're not a straight guy. What the fuck do we know? I don't know. Maybe you're doing some of the shit that Ricky does. Maybe you're putting tongues down lady boys for all the fuck we know. Would it surprise me? No, I'm not going to say it would surprise me. You're gutter trash, Nico. That's what you are. You look it, you act it, you talk it. And you're a green-eyed monster. You're a green-eyed monster. I'd like to see where you are 20 years from today. If you're even alive the next five fucking years. You want me on a slab, huh? <laughs> I'll make a joke over my dead body. There you go. Hear that siren? Yeah, you might be hearing a few of those in the future, my friend. You've got a really fucked up attitude. Yes, I don't. No, I don't like you. I never liked you. I don't think a lot of people like you, because you are a piece of shit. You are a piece of shit. You wanted a reaction? I'm giving you one. It'd be my last one. I'm going to say what I have to say, so you got to wait your turn to your next video. <laughs> Nico, you really are a joke. You really are a joke. But I enjoy when you do a live show. I'll tune in if I know that you're on. Of course. You're nothing but a green-eyed monster. You can't have what I have. Oh, call her a concubine. Call her whatever you want. You just don't have anything. Isn't that what the problem really is? Okay, who do we got here? Sophie King says, no woman wants Nico. I know that. Because I don't know what's stopping you from filing a case against... <laughs> He's clearly jealous. It's obvious, though. I had Gilda listen to the show a little bit while she was doing stuff on the phone. I go, is this guy jealous of us or what? She agrees. So in other words, my girlfriend is supposed to be living this horrible life, and she set me up like a sucker. Look. When I met her, she never even knew if I had a dime to my name. Mm. Pardon me, I'm drinking some lemon juice here. Uh. Okay, let me continue here. Before I hit the sack for the night here. Nico, one day you'll have what I have. And I understand that you're jealous. I understand that things really haven't worked for you. You when you're in service, you got got yourself all blown up. That that's gotta really suck. I understand that. Better you than me. That's for damn sure. You're paying for your mistakes. And you didn't raise your children half the time when they were young. Why don't you tell people the truth? Tell people the truth. You were too busy into drugs. Oh, but we can't talk about that. You were too busy into drugs and alcohol, and you're still busy 
with alcohol and God knows anything else that you're into. What the fuck do I know? But I know you're into alcohol, that's for goddamn sure. There's no question about that. You're overweight, you're obese, which means you're not healthy, period. You'll be on a slab before I'll ever be on a slab. Now, the other thing was I was not knocking Ed Lippett. Okay, Ed Lippett means nothing to me. I don't have any emotion for Ed Lippett. He was not exactly a good guy to me. I'll tell you that. Okay, so pardon me, pardon my sarong. If I don't give a shit about whether Ed Lippett or Michael Fazio or Johnny Warrior or who else fucking kicked the fucking bucket. Because the truth is, they don't mean shit to me. May they be in a better place. I'll say something nice. May they be in a better place of the misery lives that they led, most of them. It's just a green-eyed monster speaking. Yeah, I know he's jealous. That's what it's all about. That's why I get a kick listening to this. And, you know, and uh, I set him off every time, just like clockwork. Every time. So every time I do a video, the same thing that happened with Fazio and others. Every time I did a video, they had to come back on. And they had to finish their sentence until I do another video and say something back. And then they come back and it's, I keep them busy. You know, I mean, I give them something to do with their life. They should be actually thanking me, not attacking me. They should be thanking me. Uh, Silver King says, Nico and these trolls will never be happy like you. You radiate joy. There you go. Did you? I know they are. Hey, let's just, this is not something that I can't see. It's transparent to me. It's absolutely transparent. That's what it is. That's why I get a real, I get a real chuckle, uh, and sometimes actually a verbal chuckle, actually uh, a, a stomach a belly laugh when I, I listen to these two Jamolis, Popeye, who's <laughs> hasn't got fucked since before his li wife left him, has to ride a mobility scooter. Well. Karma wasn't great to them. Karma wasn't great to Nico. He got his ass blown up. And Popeye with his raw, raw America shit because he was in the fucking service. Yeah, okay. You know, he figures, well, there's enough veterans out there to take my side and all that. I'm nothing against the veterans, but and how he just how, how he blows up his uh, history in the services where I get my chuckles from. You know, you would think that this guy was like a fucking special op or something, the way he acts. He cleaned fucking decks on his fucking ship. I guess that's a service, you know? And he got to play guard and have a little gun at the gate. Wow. Then I understand he worked at Walmart for how many years afterwards? Popeye hasn't gotten laid in so many fucking years. He's beyond blue balls, man. He's hurting. He's hurting. He will probably never get laid the rest of his life. What's that? How do you know Popeye didn't get laid by Nico? Oh, I don't know. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Come on, Popeye. It sounds more like a penguin, really. <laughs> hey, look, if you can't have fun with this, then what's the purpose? Nico, look, I know you're jealous. I'm going to talk to you straight on. You got a loud mouth. I'd love you to say something to my girlfriend in front of her. If we ever ran into each other, I would, I would welcome this opportunity because I'd have a big ass surprise for you, bro. You won't be leaving the Philippines not for a long time, not for a long time. Okay, she's got family out here too. Okay, you just openly say this kind of shit to her. You're going to deal with a whole lot more than her family. I'll tell you that. A whole lot more. Okay, I keep certain people in certain positions abreast of some of the shit that's going on. See, that's my ace in the hole. I record every one of your shows. All I have to do is make one fucking phone call. One phone call. One fucking phone call and sign a few pieces of paper. All right, and they'll hunt you down just like they did the other guy. You think I'm joking? Try it out. Oh, he would get pleasure. Oh, he would get pleasure out of showing his strength and his, his, uh, 
manliness of beating up a 70 year old that makes you a coward right there Nico well that that that'll be a real uh, that'll be a real test of uh, what you're made of it's like when uh, Ricky attacked Fazio who was what 68 at the time oh yeah that that's showing what a brave man you are is to say oh wait till I see you like you're gonna beat me up if I see you in a store. Try it. Try it. Let me know when you're gonna be in the Philippines. And tell me you're gonna I'll tell you when I'm gonna be in one of these stores. And you come in the store and you do whatever the fuck you wanna do. Let's see how far you'll get with that. You won't be leaving the Philippines for a long, long time. In fact, you might be partners with the other guy. Hmm. Something to think about there, Nico Rodriguez. Something to think about. I think you underestimate me, that's what I think. I think I'm totally underestimated by you. Totally. The green-eyed monster can't keep his mouth shut. Nico, do you have a girlfriend? Nope. Your prospects of getting a girlfriend? Minus zero. Why? Your attitude, your demeanor, your looks, your obesity, and your whole disrespect for women period where every reference to a woman out here is they're all hoes why do you come to the Philippines for hoes so in other words you're saying that all these women are hoes no wonder you can't get a fucking woman I can see why if it was me I would not show as much what am I gonna do well I know what I could do I'm just waiting for the right moment I'd love for him to confront me when he comes to the Philippines. Bad enough that I'm 20 years older than him. Bad enough, they'll get him for that, more heavier charges. He wouldn't be leaving the Philippines. He'll get to stay on the gratuity of uh, the Philippines uh, Republic. All talk, all bullshit. The bandana, the fucking tats, the braided hair. Acting, speaking, trying to look and talk like a fucking gangster. You're 50 fucking years old. Grow up. Did you get out of your drugs? He had a drug pass. How could he even talk about me? Or anybody for that fact. The guy was a fucking druggie, which he admitted himself. What higher platform does that put you on, sir? You're not on a high platform. You're at the bottom of the fucking sewer. You're a low life. Best defined? A low life. That's what you are. You're a fucking low life. Yeah, man. Not even worth it sometimes. And the fact is, <laughs> she wasn't looking for a sugar daddy. She's always had money. Maybe you want to call me a sugar daddy or something. Well, maybe you did. When I first met her, she didn't know whether I had a peso or not. She never asked Nickelodeon. She never even asked. She didn't care. Called her a concubine. She said, why don't you just say it? Call whore. But you wouldn't. Nah. Nico wouldn't do that, because he's all good and godly, and he was a serviceman, so he's got to be a good dude. Anyway. <laughs> well, whatever that means, whatever that means. Look, I am not phased by what Nico says, but I sure do get a lot of, you know why I get a lot of enjoyment from this? I'm going to tell you straight up. Because I know what life I'm living. He could say my life is horrible. He could say I, I don't have any money. He could say, you don't own the house. What's I actually do? It's really a 60-40 thing, but it's her house. I bought it for her. You jealous of that? I mean, Big E had to give you money just to make some of your fucking trips. What does that say about you? What does that say about you? And you're 50 years old and you still ain't got a girlfriend? Oh, I'm going to give him a mouthful tonight. That's exactly what I'm doing. Touche turtle. He is jealous. 
even Popeye, they're so fucking jealous. That's how I see it. That's exactly how I see it. The green-eyed monster speaks, and he's upset. He Sure he wants to see something happen to me. That's the kind of character he is. What woman would want a man like him, who thinks, who claims he's a godly man and everything else, but he wishes death upon me? That I should be on a steel slab? What, what woman would want an ill-thinking, psychologically unfit, low-gutter, hanging fruit than him? It's got to be money. Or the advantages of being with a foreigner that wants to take her around on a little scooter pie. Hey, let's go to this town. Let's make it look like we're girlfriend and boyfriend, okay? I don't want people to think I come here all this time. I'm in the Philippines. I'm just hanging with this one chick. I'm not even having sex with because I probably can have sex with him. Sickening, isn't it, guys? I know. Yeah. <laughs> Soy pas... Payaso! Soy un payaso! <laughs> I'll have to have Gilbo. I'll have to ask him what that is. But I'll take your word. It sounds good. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys make of this, really? I've never seen a guy fall apart so much. Well, I have, actually. But I can name other people. When it came in regards to me, how they just fall apart. Do you know why they're upset with me? Because I always have a comeback. I made people eat so much crow. Like I said, I ran out of fucking porcelain uh, china. I, I ran out of plates. I, I served so many goddamn dishes of crow. They can't handle it. Oh, he's a clown. No matter what language you say, he's a clown. Smile. Though your heart is breaking, laugh, clown, laugh. Smile, though your heart is aching. Laugh, clown, laugh. I always get the last laugh out of here, guys. You know that. You know me for years. You've been listening to my show. They tried this and tried that, and they didn't succeed. Because there was nothing to succeed in. Because I wasn't breaking any laws. Okay? That's it. Okay? Somebody decided to test the grounds with me, and now he's been incarcerated about exactly almost 15, 15 months in a, in a building that should be fucking condemned. You saw with World Zoom, he, he, he gave a little bit more detail of that place. Couldn't be the home of a better person. Couldn't be a good place. I mean, but then again, free rent, the electric, that's the best place he's ever had. <laughs> the best living conditions he's ever had. I think that certain people should be thanking me that I got the fucking gagnoles to just tell it like it is. I'm not intimidated by anybody out here because I've always got an ace in my pocket anytime I want it. Nico just has to try and say, girls, say goodnight. Okay. No, you're not coming in. Not tonight. So that's kind of where I'm at with this. I could just ramble on a whole lot more, but it's not even worth it. So, you obviously know it's going to be a... This is historically the way it's been. Say something about somebody, they're going to do a show about you. They're going to come back on and say, Oh, but you're this and you're that. You don't own anything. How do you know I don't own anything? What do you know about my so-called portfolio? What do you know? You don't know shit. You don't know shit. How am I buying a house? How do I own anything else? How do I renovate? When I need a new appliance and it breaks down, where, you know, where's all this money coming from? If I'm broke, huh? Huh? Yeah. Don't make any sense. But then you never do. You get the jealousy in you is, you're anybody who listens to the way you ramble on about me, get any lay person to listen to your show just tell them that he is talking about me. The first thing that's going to come out of their mouth is, why is this guy so jealous of you? Because that's what it seems to me. He tries to find every fault in me because he knows he's so full of fault. It's called being, well, he's a narcissist, that's for sure. Although, he does admit 
does admit that he's a prick out of his own words, his own mouth, I'm not saying it, that he's an asshole, and that he, he's not really a nice guy. All right, that ends it all. That's why he says shit about me, because he is a prick. He's not a nice guy, he's an asswipe. He's a guy that's not happy with how his life has been going. I mean, look what happened to the motherfucker. He gets fucking blown up. It's blown up. Now he's living with it. Better you than me, pal. Better you than me. But I don't wish you on a slab. I don't go that low. I wouldn't wish it on you or even Popeye. Let karma take care of itself. I mean, look. The very people that were giving shit to me on YouTube are dropping like flies. Do you call that karma? I don't know, how would you define that? Yeah, Sophie King says a guy who calls you broke lives with his mom. Yeah. <laughs> exactly my point. That's his mom's house, it's not his house, okay? It's not his house. That's why he gets so upset if he makes a mistake there and overcuts a piece of grass or one of her flowers and she's gonna fall apart if she sees that. What does that tell you right there? He don't own that fucking house. I don't know what his, maybe it's in the inheritance. He's taking care of the house because of that, but I, I don't, you know, I, did, does he really own that house? I'm beginning to doubt that. I'm beginning to doubt that actually. He's the kind of guy that likes to blow his horn all the time, how as great his life is. But look what he's going through. He's got to see a neurological doctor all the time. He talks about my health and so what about my health? Had a kidney stone? I have an allergy? What about my health? What about it? I don't know anything else. Do you? You? Can you see? Like a, a CAT scan? A CT scan? Can you see the inside of my body? Do I have any developing diseases that I'm not even aware about? Maybe you could tell me. If you got a future, you got a crystal ball that tells all, tell me about it. See if you're right or not. But when's the last time that you went for a, a good evaluation? I bet you got kidney stones up the ass. I bet your heart is working overtime because of your weight. You'll be on that slab well before I will ever be on a slab. I can almost guarantee that. Well, I can't guarantee that. There's no guarantees in life. So death and taxes. But yeah, yeah, death. So you're invincible, honey. Go, is that what it is? Guy's a fucking joke. That's why I'll listen to his show. Well, you know it's going to be about me because he cannot. It, it, it goes with every shit. Anybody throughout the history. Okay. Every single show is going to talk about me. Why? Because I put that mirror in front of him and he gets really, really, really defensive. Why do you get defensive, Nico? Tell us the truth. Because you're really not living that, that life that you try to portray and you're also happy. You have an anger problem. You have a self-image problem. It's apparent to everyone who listens to your show. And the way you and Popeye talk about me, you think that you were in love with me and you were jealous that I actually have a life. And who are you to determine what life I have? Who do you determine what's in my girlfriend's head about me or why she's with me or why she's with me this long that it's all about money? That's one big setup. They're not all like that, Nico. Maybe you had some experiences. How much have you put out on women when you were in the Philippines and you just got fucking jilted after you spent a bunch of cash? Somebody else's cash, probably. You got nothing to boast about, Nico. Nothing. Like I said, if I was given a choice to, I'll, you know, you'll have 20 extra years to your life, guaranteed. Or if I died, rather, to be you, I'd be useful by 20 years. I wouldn't want that trade-off to be you. It sucks to be you. It really does. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, read that comment already on there. 
Okay, guys, I'm not going to spend all night doing a show here. I'm going to wind down for the night. And I hate to tell you, Nico, but my health actually is pretty good. Okay, and if you say I'm broke, if it makes you feel better, then say I'm broke. But I know. How do I do all the things I do, Nico, if I'm broke? How do I do it? Magic? Do I get a money tree in the backyard? I wish I did. How do I do it if I'm so broke? You know, the doors in this house got three exits. They all go in and they all go out. If she didn't want to be with me, she could leave anytime she wanted. She chooses to be with me. Period. And that bothers you. So you want to call her a concubine. You want to talk about how many kids she had. Like, and what did you say about them? That they're all swill? What a nice guy this guy is, huh? He gets low to talk about her children. If you saw him, Gilda, in the fucking store and he spoke to you like that, what would you do? I can't hear you. And the microphone is over here. If he approached you in the store, in a store, and he knocked you down and called you a concubine and started talking about your children, that they're all sewer, they're all swill, and they're all low class, what would be your reaction? Of course, I'm angry. Yeah, how far would you go? Yeah. <laughs> of course you'd be angry. But you'd have an angry partner too. And you take for granted, or, well, to think that, well, Frank is like 70 years old, and he doesn't have the power to do anything at all. The bigger you are, the harder you fall, motherfucker. You may have 20 years difference, but there's still fire in my furnace. You talk like that shit in person in front of my... You had a chance to do it on the ferry, motherfucker. But you're mad about Maria. They don't reserve judgment for any, anybody. They don't judge themselves. No, they won't judge themselves. They want to be judgmental. You're right. They want to be judgment of everybody else. Your, your face is yeah, look in the mirror if your face is perfect. You're busted up. You're broken down. You're a loser. 50 years old and he wants to act like a gangster. And look at the company he keeps sometimes. Amazing. It's just absolutely amazing. And Popeye? Oh, God, talking about a lost cause. Of course Popeye is so adamant about knocking me. Look where his life is. He's in an immo immobili a mobility scooter. Enough said about that. His life didn't go the way he wanted to. His wife divorced him because he was very abusive to her. But I found a little information out that she has her own business selling food, Asian food, in fact. And she has a good, good position. She's got a, she got away from him. She's not going to get beat up by him. Him and his, his fucking scotch and his camels. Yeah, because the two guys is all perfect. Very perfect life. Right. They got a perfect life. Of course, she's being sarcastic, of course. They're not living the lives that they're trying to portray people. But I got the balls to come on, and I'll confront him about this shit. I have no problem. I'm not intimidated by anybody. I don't care who the fuck you are. I've always got an ace in the hole when I want to deal with something. I always have an ace in the pocket, ace in the hole, and I'll deal with something as it comes up. I'll guarantee you that. To the day I fucking die, you're a pussy, Nico. That's all you are. And you're never going to find a real girlfriend that wants you and likes you for who you are because there's nothing to like. You have a foul mouth. Every other word is fucking this, fucking that, fucking this. The way you dress, the way you look, the way you present yourself, the way you talk down on people. You think somebody is going to stay with you? Seriously stay with you? You're not a woman's man, okay? Maybe you should go the other way if you don't already. We don't know for sure. Maybe you're sucking on Popeye's dick. Make you a little 40-minute trip, a 40-mile trip to go visit him. And maybe having a little private sessions with him that we don't know about. All talk, 
All Talk Radio, all day long, 24 hours a day. All Talk Radio. Yeah, we should be on a radio show. Tell us how you really feel, April. Tell us how you really feel. I don't think you told me yet how you really feel. Tell me how you really feel. Are you upset, Nico? Are you upset, Nico? I got a lady that's 20 years younger than me. We got a house, we're settled in. I apparently got money to survive and more. That I'm happy, she's happy. That's really killing you, isn't it? Green-eyed monster. Green-eyed monster. That's what you are. I know. Always lives with his mom most of the time till she goes back to Boston. Never untying those apron strings. He's very insecure. But who is this guy who admits, admits, did you hear what I said underlined the word admits, that he was into drugs? That growing up, he was a piece of shit low-hanging fruit to society. He didn't raise his kids on his own. He talks about, well, you know, Frank don't talk about his daughter, talk to his daughter. Putting words in her mouth, putting words in my mouth. It is what it is. And I do have a family, and the kids do respect me. They do respect me. You don't have a family. Oh, okay. Your daughter comes around with the kid, okay? You got your mommy. But the day we ever see you in a relationship, a real relationship with a real woman who's not looking for a free motorcycle ride to the next town or some backpacker's resort of some sort called a resort, <laughs> a backpacker's hotel because you cannot afford to live in a decent place when you make your trips to Hawaii, uh, Hawaii, that's a good one, when you make your trip to the Philippines, you ain't got shit. And you could wish me dead, you could wish me on a slab, we're all gonna be there. And guess what, Nico? So will you. And I think far before I'm ever on a goddamn stale slab. But unlike you, I, I don't wish that on you. That, that really differentiates the kind of person I am and the person you are. I don't wish you on a slab. I just hope karma just does a damn good job on you and continues to do it. Dying is too easy. It's too easy. You gotta suffer a little bit, Nico. I think you've been suffering this whole time. You can't even think about what to talk on your show except two things. Your stupid fucking lawn <laughs> and talking about me or else nobody you sound familiar by the way nobody will come to your show unless you create drama now on the other hand he wants to kiss and suck uh, Popeye's dick because he wants Popeye to be so he needs he needs Popeye to feel proud of his you know prodigal son there the dad he never had and that's the only way, and he said it himself, he doesn't have much friends. He doesn't have much friends. No, I didn't like Ed Lippett at all. But, you know, never wished death on Ed Lippett. He had a mouth, I couldn't even understand him half the time. Sound like mumbles on Dick Tracy. But I wish him peace. If there is something, is peace when you die. I wish him peace. Hope he has a happier endeavor. That's all. I got compassion for people, but it doesn't mean I have to respect them. Attacking me, my girlfriend, you only wish in your wildest fucking dreams that you could get lucky enough to find a woman like I have. A woman who respects me, that I respect, is going to be with me to the day I die. I'll have that hand to hold when I have my last breath. Where are you going to be? Nobody respects you, Nico. They think you're a joke. They think you're a clown. And I certainly do. 
Yeah, he wants Popeye's chorizo. Yeah, you got that right. Compassion is for the weak. Frank is a modern day Nietzsche. I, I'm not sure of that word. Okay. Anyway, thanks for hanging in and listening. I thought I'd do this before I hit the sack. Get a little satisfaction. And uh, it's. I think it's really sad how these people are living. Look, here's a, here's a statement I'm going to make. Am I complaining about my life here? You know, my relationship? And I do have a family, and they do respect me. Okay? Now, he makes a referral that the kids doesn't talk a lot to me. They do. They know English. Sometimes they get pretty shy to get that nosebleed that they call. They have to force to speak English. I respect that. I understand that. The kids are like this. When you talk to them, they'll talk back. It's hard for some of the kids, maybe the youngest one really, that doesn't have a good, well, doesn't have the best grasp of English, although he speaks English and understand a lot of it. Good kids are all good kids. All her kids got their head together. They got their shit together. Scholarships in school, there's three going to college as we speak right now. Yeah, and she's got the money to pay for that. So where are we broke? It's all wishful thinking. They can't have my life. But you know what? I'm living my life. No matter what they say or hope that happens to me or that I'm unhappy in my relationship or she's unhappy with me, you don't know that. You don't know that, but it sounds good to say it. It makes you feel better, doesn't it? Okay, German philosopher. Okay, I'm not much into German philosophers. I'm going to end the show right here. Nico, you couldn't shine my shoes, and you'll never be up to my level. I don't think you made it out of high school. You were too busy taking drugs. You were too busy taking drugs, Mr. Perfect. So you have, you're in no position at all to talk shit about me. It doesn't matter where I wound up in my work life. I managed to go to college in a couple of them and I graduated. You didn't make it out of high school. You decided to hang with the wrong crowd. You were a druggie, motherfucker. You were a fucking druggie. A low-class fucking druggie. Alcoholic. Talk about being on the slab. You'll be on the slab with a toe on you, a tag on your toe well before I will. You're obese. You're not healthy. What are the odds? that you're gonna live to my age. Don't bet any money on that and don't hold your breath. Because as long as you're obese, as long as you got that nasty attitude that you have, you're gonna be lonely for the rest of your life. I don't have to worry about that. I got what I wanted and I'm happy what I got. You can make up all the stories in the world about who she is and why she's with me, but only I know better, and that's all that matters. But if it makes you feel good about yourself, constantly be on the attack of me, you and your boyfriend, Popeye, knock yourself out. Knock yourself out.